and <coughs> welcome to River Song. Today I'm going to fix uh, RPM measuring display. Uh, I don't have a RPM uh, gauge on this boat and uh, it doesn't come originally either on this engine uh, and I'm not sure about hearing what RPM it is so uh, and if you're going to install it <coughs> afterwards uh, an original it's very expensive just for the sensor so what do you do you check on Google and uh, Amazon so I got this thingy magic or about 20 euros of eBay I will give you a link in the description it's a sensor and a magnet and a display the rest you can have to fix for yourself and uh, the easiest way is to put the magnet on the flywheel and well I can do that that's no problem just glue it with a special glue there and it will stick but the thing is the sensor where do I put it well I could probably take a metal thing and uh, bend it with an angle or something so that could get stuck here or here the thing is then the engine is vibrating and this one would be not so there would be a problem there I guess so I started looking at the engine is there any place I can mount anything well there actually is on the side here there you have two holes and then I started thinking well I could put something out here where I could put the sensor against this and uh, well what could that possibly be hang on a minute when I was stepping the mast I uh, damaged one of the turnbuckles maybe I can use that so I prepared this yeah it works perfectly because here you can adjust the sensor so I'm gonna mount this and now I mounted it like this and I'm going to mark that's the center of that one so that would be where I need to mount it the magnet thingy be right back and uh, to get the glue special glue to stick uh, well I had to wipe with some acetone so I'm sure I'm getting getting it stuck there and this is the glue I'm using I hope it will stick otherwise that magnet will shoot away like a screaming something and now that is glued on there it's the Loctite uh, epoxy glue for metal so I hope it will stay there now I just need to uh, calibrate so it's a nice distance there well now it is mounted and I think we're in the clear there I get past and it's yeah it is pretty tight maybe I don't want to get closer but maybe I need to 
and the look from here it is yeah everything goes as it should and nothing is in the way uh, the power I took directly from the main switch for the engine uh, so it's uh, no no current when the engine is turned off when the main switch is off there so it doesn't draw anything even if it's just drawing small thing usually and connected the cables I had to do the wiring myself but I don't know Chinese but I understand it anyway where the things should go and you get this one also that connects there and it says what cable goes where well now it's getting along good I'm uh, drawn the cables through the engine bay the very small little engine bay and the cable came out down there and it's going to be put over there and up and I'm gonna have the display there with the other engine things and uh, I'm using these kind of connectors of Amazon works fine I'm very happy with them I put a link there too and this is always what I hate the most it goes against everything I know about boats you don't make holes in a boat well I made an exception for this and uh, this one made it a lot easier the best tool I have got it for Christmas gift from my lovely wife last year uh, no last year before that so um, now I'm just gonna solder a bit on the display and uh, have a coffee with my father and uh, then we go on again yeah we are back again uh, to see uh, how it's working so I started the engine and it's going on idle and uh, we'll see how it looks down here yeah seems to work fine there and yeah Ah, you can't see it uh, flashes on the camera, but it's a uh, steady 1019, 1020, uh, 1020, and if I take it half speed, that's about, yeah, it seems to work all right. And that's much cheaper than the original that it might be not that exactly correct because it's that cheap but it gives me a little idea about how it is okay bye bye hi and welcome 